Ready? I'm ready. Okay. As I type up goals and objectives for Rotary, I find myself feeling like a student. My concise objective is easy, to make the world a better place. How many opportunities are available to people on a daily basis to live out service above self? I would surmise, outside of Rotary, they are far and few between. Yet because of our affiliation, we have endless opportunities to make a positive impact globally, locally, and personally. I understand that this exercise in writing is to help the nominating committee understand who the candidates are and where they're coming from. So let me convey that information and stop musing on that larger reason I'm so passionate about Rotary. All the current initiatives that are being fostered by Pedro, Debbie, and Chuck are ones I heartily support. Growing membership, increasing membership specifically in the areas of women and diversity, and working for peace in our own city are all really important goals. I'd like to say that I've added to the number of women in Rotary by helping start a new club 18 months ago. The Rotary Club of Naperville After Dark has a predominantly female constituency. And I'll have to tell you, our four male ma members do not seem to mind at all. I've also volunteered to be on Debbie's membership committee, as recruiting is part of my job responsibilities in my sales management career. I do have some areas that I would like to shine a light on, and those include helping our membership discover their why for Rotary. I like to say that we get into Rotary, but when does Rotary really get into us? I would also like to be part of making Rotary more relevant. Too many people still think we're a group of older Caucasian wealthy men who get together every week for a meal. Although our complexion has changed over the years, we need to continue to make a direct effort to reach out to all people who have the desire to help others and want the ability to learn or use their leadership skills. Our eye has changed the messaging but are our clubs following? If the clubs aren't, are we reaching out to form new clubs that embody our new, flexible organization? Another area that I'd like to emphasize is our careers. Rotary began as a way for business people to connect and provide reliable cross-pollination of business from one reputable person to another. Somehow, not sure how, during the growth of our organization, we've lost this aspect of focus. We are totally not elites club, but we sometimes take this to such an extreme where we don't even allow members to talk about their businesses except on the day they're inducted. I don't know about you, but I always reach out to other Rotarians when I need the services they provide. But I do wonder, do other Rotarians do the same? Would new members be immediately engaged if they initially saw the career potential so they stay with us long enough so that we can share that all we can do is Rotarians together? Another initiative I would like to see come into fruition is our district functioning as one team. I'm aware that we're building Rotary coalitions and I'd like to see this grow into our entire district working together. More clubs supporting each other's club events, projects, and social activities. Lastly, I'd like to develop a list of clubs who are doing international projects that require hands-on support. It would be brilliant for every member of our district to have the opportunity to take part in a polio immunization day or the building of a school or any other project that opens their eyes to the amazing work that Rotary International does. Too often, our members think small and never venture out of their communities. We have the perfect vehicle to help our members become citizens of the world.